Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the uh, room over a room effect. Um, let me just go into 3D mode and see what I can show you here. Um, what I've done is, uh, this right here is just a, a slope, and if you haven't watched my slopes tutorial, this was just because I was too lazy to make the uh, rest of the stairs. But uh, the stairs come up into here. Now as you can see, this, this floor doesn't, you know, line up because we want to be able to walk under this room, or this little uh, passageway I'm making up here. Um, what I've done is I've made two sectors uh, in the 16 by 16 grid on the outside of it. Uh, the ceilings for everywhere is 256 and then I just lowered these to 128 to keep everything within like you know doom style parameters and uh, this is just the room that you come across to. Um, well the way we achieve this, uh, this effect is uh, we make a dummy sector and as you can see here it's just you know the standard little triangle guy and what you do is you use transfer heights okay um, I've shown you how to use transfer heights before in like the uh, deep water but this time uh, you know you just pick your sector tags same thing but what you're gonna do is since you want this room to be at 128 floor and 256 height that's exactly what you set it to 256 for your ceiling and 128 for your floor and what this will do is it'll create the effect of uh, this room actually being here but the problem is the floor will be up but the player will fall right through it so as you can see when I turn things on there are actually uh, bridge pieces here uh, because it works a lot like the 3D bridge in the sense that you need to have uh, something real there for the player to walk on and uh, you just gotta make sure you fill them in so that there's no gaps and that the player can walk all the way across and I'll show you what the effect looks like As you can see, the heights have been transferred. We can walk successfully underneath. Um, we can come up here, and we can walk right across. And you can see this is just like a whole other room. But what I do want to show you, though, is and warn you about, is that it's not perfect. Um, as you can see, since the floor is fake, you can shoot through it. So if somehow someone knew that there was someone walking across this room they could theoretically shoot through the floor at them but I don't think it's anything major to worry about because as long as you keep it invisible no one's going to be able to see through the walls I mean yeah they could you know sit here and you know spam rockets and all that but I think as a whole the effect looks really nice and despite its drawbacks I like to implement it into my maps because it definitely gives the impression of true 3D even though this engine doesn't support it. So um, just remember, you know, keep your outside sectors to close off where your raised room over room is going to be. And then um, make sure you have the heights of your dummy sector set to where you want uh, this room to be. So if you wanted this higher, like let's say you wanted the floor to be at 256, you would set the floor at 256 and then the ceiling of your dummy sector 128 units higher. Um, so I mean you can use it with any height but it's easier to work with those but once you start learning how to really do it then you can mess around with the different heights. <coughs> well as you can see I mean the transfer heights option is really really powerful and um, despite the fact that it seems like it would be a difficult uh, thing to do. It's actually just one line def action, uh, some math, and a sector tag, and that's about it. So uh, give it a shot, and uh, if you have any help, or if you need any help, and uh, or any you know requests for tutorials or anything, just feel free to leave me a comment or shoot me a message.